Hello, hi, and welcome back. It's your bearded beauty boy, Charlie, coming at you with another video. I hope you enjoyed last week's video. If you haven't subscribed, please click. Um, or I don't know why people say please subscribe in the beginning of the video. You haven't even seen what I do. Maybe you don't even like it. So if you like it, maybe subscribe. Put that bell notification. I'm so new to this, so um, please cut me some slack. But for this week, I thought I'm going to get inspired by a little bit different makeup, natural makeup or makeup in nature. So I uh, scrolled through my Instagram and I came across this beautiful um, nature photo. How gorgeous is that? I love that blue uh, lilac eyeshadow and like the... Um, like the orange blush draping all around and of course there's you know fur and I've got fur so yeah um, let's get into it shall we so I moisturized with the Gosh Donoderm 24 hour moisturizing cream with hyaluronic acid so moisturized with that and then for my t-zone for oil control I went in with the Gosh Derma um, Donoderm, I can't pronounce this, Donoderm T-Zone Refining Serum um, in the oil control. It says that it really controls the oil, ensures that the makeup lasts longer, all the rest. So we're going to try with this. And then before we start, I am going to do a little spritz with the Donoderm by Gosh um, Prime and Set Spray. So going in with this and just for that extra... moisture it's a nice spray I like the spray on this one it smells good all the rest so I've got a couple of new products we're gonna try out and I've got a couple of favorites um, but let's start with moisturizers down I'm gonna go in with my primer primer that I'm really liking at the moment is the gosh prime and plus um, the chameleon so this does have a little bit of a tinge to it so if we actually move it a little bit round, you can see it's got a bit of a color. Um, and it's a nice little primer. Uh, just for base. Foundation, the Revlon Photo Ready Insta Filter Foundation. This is medium beige to 40. Uh, it's a little bit yellow in the jar, so it's got apparently its own little foundation. Ooh, there you can see you twist it off. Um, it comes out so they say it's got its built in blender so let's see how this matches where is it where is the coverage Do I have to wet it? I'm a great fan of this one. No. I'm just going to go in with my brush and rather load up my brush from there. The nose is a little bit flaking off, but most foundations really do so while my foundation sets in let's go in with my brows i'm going to go in with the revlon color stay brow corrector this is a nice little three in one brow um got a micro pencil in the top if you to twist this off it's got a brow kind of powder puff and then at the back you've got a spoolie So I've got very big bushy brows. So I mainly focus my tail end um, for a bit of control. As the rest is pretty much all there. 
I don't have to worry about that too much. Now going in with the nice little powder puff, we can just fill in any sparseness. This powder is super pigmented, so one, applica one application is like enough. I mean one dip, like you can apply, apply, apply with the powder super pigmented and just goes on top yeah that's that's just how it's gonna be now now to brighten up my under eye and shape up my brow and I think I'm going to do a little bit of cream contour as well. Uh, I'm going to go in with the Revlon Colorstay again, another Revlon Colorstay. The concealer, this is 03 light, um, light medium. This is what I'm going to use for brightening. And then the Colorstay concealer in 06 deep. This is going to be my con. This is going to be my contour. Take a nice concealer brush. This one's by. Gosh, and let's just carve out the brow. To brighten up the under eye and a little bit of contour, I'm going to take that concealer and just focus it under my eye. So now that I sort of have it where I want, I just go back with my nice fluffy foundation brush and blend it all in. I'm going to take a nice little dense fluffy foundation brush this one and just buff that in okay now to set under my eyes eyes to set under the eyes I'm gonna go in with the gosh prep and prime um, no gosh prime and set gosh gonna go in with a gosh prime and set um, prime and mattifying setting powder in the with hyaluronic acid I'm just going to go in with my same kind of fluffy brush. Um, put a little bit in the lid. And with that corner, just tap it underneath. And then just what's ever left over. Going there. Nice. Nothing too intense. Okay, now I'm going to go in with um, setting my contour. I'm going to set my contour with the Gosh Mix and Matte Palette. Um, and focusing mainly, mainly on these two colors. Okay, for that I want a nice big brush. Let's... Maybe too big. Let's go in with this one, the nice little gosh product. This is the blush product, uh, blush brush, um, and just gonna mix mix those two together and just sit kind of where I went with my contour. It's like sort of like a bronzing. So I want everything to be nice and warm around the face and then cool in the eyes like that. I'm, I really need to find out what kind of monkey that is. Ape thing. Now for my nose contour, we're going to go in with a smaller brush, a little eyeshadow brush. This little dome shape brush um, and then also the same contours. 
contour colors and just deepen that in. Yeah. Um, I'm thinking of maybe doing a little bit darker on the contour, but a little bit more focus. So to focus really the contour a little bit more, go in with a smaller um, eyeshadow buffing brush and then the deepest kind of shade, I'm going in with that shade, that shade, um, only on a loaded fluffy eyeshadow brush and really just like focus it where, where you want. So I want to really chisel out my cheekbones and my temples. So instead of having a bigger area of um, bronzer and contour, I just want to really focus it in um, these key areas. So that's why I'm going with a smaller brush. Uh, so basically, little rule of thumb is the smaller the brush, the smaller the area, the bigger br the brush, the bigger the area. So I just want to focus it on those. I think it's gonna look gorgeous, like all the orange around and the blue in the eye. So let's start with the blue in the eye. Um, and I think for a nice base, let's do, yeah. Let's go going in with the Revlon Lux book. This is the insider. Um, I'm gonna first just kind of like contour my eye and then do the full base in this nice little lilac color, boom boom, um, and then build it up from there. So same story, let's just take the same fluffy brush and I'm gonna go in with this one and just really focus it in there. Mm -hmm. It's got a bit of that product still from the Gosh palette, but that's fine. I'm not really bothered about that. I feel it just like really connects all the colors that you're using on your face. You understand what I mean? Okay. Nice and deepen that crease color. Nice fluffy brush. So it's like just windshield wi windshield wipers. Um and you can just go ham. And I want to pull that same color underneath. A little bit out. Take a nice dense packing brush. And we're just gonna load the brush with that lilac color in the inside of palette. Tap off and then just load the brush and then just pack in that color the entire lid pretty color don't worry about the edges we're going to blend that out now we just want the color on the entire lid and really saturated Keeping the whole eyeshadow sort of like in a moon shape, not winging it out too much and packing it really into the crease. We had that nice little transition shade. Oh. Okay. Now taking a clean fluffy brush, we're just going to run it over there in the crease and buff it out. Rule of thumb, you can never over blend. Well, you can if it's really crappy eyeshadows and then it goes to mud. But with these, I haven't had any crappy experience. And then we're just gonna run whatever is left over under the eye. Not picking up any more product, but just running whatever is left. Now to really get that blue vibe, 
I'm gonna go in with the Mina eyeshadow palette. Uh, it's 105 and really focus on this this blue. Boop up. Really get that in. So going back with my packing brush that I use the lilac for and really loading up the product, tap off the excess and then just focus everything in the center. And then I want to run it underneath as well. Now we've got that nice little blue and then just buff it again with a clean blending brush just soften that edges. Hmm. So I want to add slight definition. So another small little packing brush. And I'm gonna go in with the darker shade. Whoop, 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 whoop. I'm gonna go in with the darker shade and just pack that on the outer corner. Just give a little bit of definition. Now for the whole orange kind of draping. So draping is the, um, a so that orange blush draping. So if you don't know what draping is, um, I also don't really know, but what I understand it's blush that is taking a little bit over, over into the eye area. It's big on runway, I th runway, I think it was last year. It was very editorial, done a couple of looks myself. They call it draping, quite like it. So we're gonna do like a whole helmet drape um, and I'm going to use two products. First is the product by Colourpop. This is a blush palette. Um, so nice little sunset colors in this. And the other one is the Bionic Babe eyeshadow palette in Yes Babe. And of course, boom, boom. I'm going to really focus on that. But just to first build up the color, I'm going to go in with just a nice little Duo Fiber blending brush. Um, and then first go in with the blush. It's quite of a, how can I say, a illuminating brush, blush. So it's really gonna help with the highlighting as well. And going in with a bit of a darker, darker one. There we go. Now it's now we're cooking. Just really like how this sort of like a illuminated blush. It really adds to that highlight of the cheekbones, the high points. I think just to get that color going the same, gonna. Just do the bridge of my nose. My favorite YouTuber, Makeup Mouse, uh, Instagrammer, she does always the blush on the tippy top of the nose and I absolutely love it. Okay, so I'm sort of happy with that. Now we're gonna go in with the Bionic Babe, Yes Babe eyeshadow palette. This is a full matte palette and with Boom Boom, just gonna stick with the same blending brush and pick up nice little product and just focus that on the focus that closest to my kind of like eye and brow area and blend that out that's cute <laughs> okay I can go on with this blush forever but I think I'm just gonna stick, stay with that now. Like that. Oompa loompa. For my highlights, I really do think I need to like sharpen up under the brow bar, the inner corner of the eye, and a little bit on my cheekbones. So I'm gonna go in with the Allure palette by Frisk Beauty. And I think I'm gonna go in with that yellow um, and maybe mix it with this little two in the middle. So I'm gonna go in with a nice little detail highlighter brush and just sort of like these two. Um, yeah. 
and just really focus it over there. Stunning. Showing a little bit of my texture, but it's highlight, so. Really just giving me that. For a little bit of a highlight in the inner corner, I'm gonna go in with my Chick Cosmetics Nightwind. Um, and I think I'm gonna go in with Retrograde, this nice little blue, blue little number here. So, let's get a pencil brush. Um, load up that product and yeah just pack it let's see how that yeah pack it right in there oh. oh I think that was a mistake okay that is a little bit too bright but it's fine let's just do it on both sides um, okay, so that was a mistake. We are not going to go in with that shade at all. So I think we're going to go in with Iconic. Rather, Iconic is this nice little white silver. Um, same little pencil brush, just rub off the excess, excess, excess. Um, and really go back in. Where... Yeah, that little combination will work. For my lashes, I'm going to go in with the Revlon Volumazing Waterproof Mascara and just coat my lashes very nice and well. I've been trying this lash mascara for a while. And I really do like, um, I like how they sit on me. Ugh, the mascara. The mascara is not too clumpy and the brush really coats all the lashes so you can see the before and after one when one with and one without so it really gives you like hella volume um, and it coats the lashes really well so it's not like too spidery or clumpy uh, yeah nice mascara bro for the lips I really want to go for very nude lippy um, so we're gonna go in with the MAC lip liner this is in spice and just line line them lips for the lip we're gonna go in with the Maybelline and Puma collaboration this is in shade 09 unapologetic Unapologetic, love that name, absolutely love that name. A lot of things that I do is unapologetic. So it's a nice little terracotta orange. I slapped on some lashes, a bit more mascara at the bottom, and now I'm going to go in with the waterline with the Mina, the Kajal pencil in white, um, and then just run it in the bottom lower bottom waterline just to give that starkness to to the look pretty much done so I'm going to do a final little spritz again with the gosh uh, prime and set spray and just lower my face so that all the powder can just melt in so there we go guys it's the final look Inspired by this little beauty. Okay. Huh? Huh? Did I get it? Did I get it? I absolutely loved doing this. I think there's a couple of things that I'll definitely redo in a shoot. Love this orange kind of draping and then pairing it with a solid matte um, eyeshadow. And yeah. I think it was really cool. Maybe the lip is a little bit too warm and terracotta. Um, I think I would maybe prefer just 
a gloss nude lip maybe not nothing too intense like this um i'm just i'm not a big fan with like a bold color on my lip i just like gloss a nude but yes i hope you enjoyed thank you so much for watching if there's anything that you guys would like to see um drop a comment in the comment section below and of course i think now is the time that i can say subscribe okay all the best bye